guys. Um, I hope your distance learning journey is going okay. Um, I wanted to kind of check in and share some read alouds with you this week and share some book talks for um, different books um, that I'd recommend. I was kind of a slacker over at spring break and did not read very many books, um, but I am going to share a book with you today that I've read in the past that I really liked. Um, and then I'm also going to use this as a chance to share um, other books that I read or that I listen to um, while we're at home doing our learning from home. So what I'm going to do first is read the back of this book, which is called Dear Martin, and it's written by Nick Stone. Um, she's the author that I actually had a chance to meet a couple weekends ago at the Right to Learn conference. Um, and after I've shared the back, I'll share some of my thoughts about um, how I liked it. Justice, what? You need to go potty? Yeah. Oh. Just as McAllister is at the top of his class and set for a bright future, but none of that matters to the police officer who just put him in handcuffs. And despite leaving his rough neighborhood behind, he can't escape the scorn of his former peers or the ridicule of his new classmates. Justice looks to the teachings of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. for answers, but do they hold up anymore? He starts a journal to Dr. King to find out. Then comes the day Justice goes driving with his best friend Manny. Windows rolled down, music turned up, way up. Sparking the fury of an off-duty cop beside them. Words fly, shots are fired. Justice and Manny are caught in the crosshairs. In the media fallout, it's Justice who is under attack. So one of the things I really like about this book um, is the way that Justice interacts with Dr. Martin Luther King through journal entries that he writes to him. Um, he has a hard time coming to terms with some of the events that happened to him in the novel um, that are kind of based on his race and how other people treat him. And one of the things he does to cope with that is he writes journal entries to Dr. King. Um, and you can see that the font changes um, from the normal text to when he's writing these journal entries. Um, and he does a lot of soul searching and kind of thinking about like, you know, Martin Luther King and the events of his life happened many years ago for justice. But some of the issues that Dr. King struggled with, justice is still struggling with. And I like how those journal entries to Dr. King um, really help him kind of figure out some of the things that he's starting to wrestle with and some of the struggles that he has. The other thing I really like is how um, the author takes different types of writing and combines it all together. So you've got the basic narrative writing like you'd have in any sort of narrative story. You also have Justice's journal entries um, that he writes to Dr. King. Um, she also includes text message conversations between Justice and his friends. And there's also occasionally things like news transcripts and things like that. So you've got different types of media um, coming to play within the same book. Lastly, I think the reason I like this book so much is it does, um, it does a really great job talking about a topic that is pretty controversial and heated right now. Um, and it makes it very accessible to people who have not experienced um, racial injustice or racism firsthand. Um, after reading this, I felt like it was a window into something that I had never experienced. And it kind of opened my eyes to a lot of things that um, I may mean, not necessarily have understood originally, um, or at least had not thought about originally. So that's what I really liked about Dear Martin by Nick Stone. Um, if you are interested in trying to find a way to check this book out, um, you could contact me or you could contact Mrs. Hoskins and we could see if there's a way for you to um, check this out, maybe through um, drop off at a local library or um, if you have it available on the internet somewhere. Thanks so much.